The public schools of Gwinnett County, like Norcross Elementary, are generally acknowledged to be some of the finest in Metro Atlanta. It should come as no surprise that a mother would want her children enrolled in a school of Norcross Elementary's caliber. That's all Delivia Swain said she wanted. My kids are real smart. I know I say that all the time, but they really are. You know, and they try hard. It's a good school. And uh, I just felt it was the best place for them. But early this year, school officials became suspicious about whether Swain actually lived in the Norcross Elementary District. They asked for proof. When she presented them with a voter registration card showing the address of a friend with whom she said she and her children were living, Gwinnett police arrested her, alleging that she had presented false information to election officials. Swain, an IRS tax examiner, was picked up by three policemen at her office in Chambly and held in the drunk tank for the better part of a day. They treated me like I, you know, had robbed a bank or at least shot somebody I felt. The Gwinnett County Police say that Swain could never be located at the disputed address and that mail sent to her there could not be delivered. Swain says she doesn't understand that, and this afternoon she told us she has only one explanation for the case against her. And I, I strictly feel it's totally racial. My school uh, has about 21 percent of students that are not white American students. Uh, I like that diversity very, very much and take a great deal of pride in that fact. Uh, and it, that concerns me, probably concerns me more than anything else, that, that Ms. Swain may feel this was racially motivated. Janet Hall says Swain's children, Jennifer 9 and George 6, are good students, and she's sorry for the problems they've had. But Hall points out that Swain was arrested for voting registration charges, not for breaking school board rules. Delivia Swain has now found an apartment inside the Norcross Elementary District, and with that proof of residency, her children are once again enrolled legally in this school. As for Mrs. Swain herself, She's still waiting to see whether Gwinnett County authorities intend to press their criminal charge against her. In Gwinnett County, Bill Nygut, Channel 2 Action News.